that we're, we're having here uh, at the event. We uh, talked in our London press event about a relationship that we have with Teleste, and it is targeting the, the cable operators in Europe, and uh, today we're actually announcing the first joint customer and I'll allow, I'll allow Hari to uh, describe that situation and describe the customer and kind of what we're doing together to uh, help, the, help the market move forward in terms of multi-screen and IP delivery. So, Hari? Thank you, Keith. Yeah, thank you for the uh, correct pronunciation of this. <laughs> thank you. So, should we start with the video? so that they can 
do different outputs for different devices for one-to-one -one transcoding or multi-screen transcoding to provide it to many, many screens. There's many, many comes if you want to remember a police academy movie then. Remember the many, many words. I had to put it here. So it's, and it's also future proof. So when they want to upgrade to HEVC, they want to do more profiles, they want to do everything, they can do that. And of course, partly through us, the uh, broadband networks in the Nordic countries are very good so that they can utilize all the profiles perfectly there in Finland. And we also, we are a partner also with very Matrix, so we deliver also very Matrix to them and also our products. So it's a perfect combination of, of us, us and Elemental and uh, very Matrix. So, to conclude, so there are challenges in the cable TV market we want to tackle with, with also with Elemental. So, I predicted some time ago that next year there's going to be the most technologies that need to be supported at the same time in networks. It always amazes me how much analog TV is still out there in Europe. So we have to support analog TV and ultra HD at the same time. So what's the solution to get every format? And how can we get all the capacity to do that? So we have a solution for those. And then we also have these new things like MBEG DAT, that's not it's a real standard and it's implemented in the latest Windows release, Windows 8.1 with the uh, IA11, but is that enough? I don't think so. So we need to support all the other different security and, and uh, adaptive streaming standards out there. And as a last line, time shifting, which is distinct. You remember all the different network PVR solutions and services that have been de deployed there, um, new services every week. So there are obstacles on that way, both technology-wise, legal-wise. We see that in Finland, for example, and user experience-wise. So those we can tackle together. <coughs> so thank you, Keith and Elemental Dan, for having me here. It's great to be here. Thank you.